I tell you. Ah, but I am innocent. I am innocent. I am innocent. Julie, what are you doing here? Philip, we have to talk. Right here? Now? Do you think our marriage is worth saving? Julie, this is a party. People are trying to have fun. This is not the time or place to be discussing our private business. Right. If that's how you feel, then I'll leave. You obviously think having fun is more important than saving our marriage. It looks like a party. Of course. Two minutes for the price of one. <laughs> Oh, she's alive. She's alive. We're going to have to get some help to get onto her side. Well, we shouldn't move her. What about her spine? No, she's unconscious. You can still vomit. You have to keep her earways clean? Yeah. Okay. We have to need some help, guys. Well, just tell us what to do. We're going to have to do a long roll. Yeah, come on. Help on either side of her? Yep. We're going to have to get onto her side when I say, okay? Just like a log, guys. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to get comfortable because we're going to have to stay like this until the ambulance gets here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to keep her head and neck steady. Okay. Oh, yeah. On the count of three, you're going to have to turn her over, okay? Yes. You ready? Yes. One. Gently. Thanks, Ren. Just put it over here. Yeah. What about this? We won't be needing that anymore. Trade was going to make a collar over. Should we? Before we moved it, but it's too late. We had to put it on the side. Up here. Oh, the on the side. Oh, great, that's the right thing to do. Okay. What's your name? Julie, it's Julie Martin. Julie! Oh, Julie! Well, she must have fallen. Did you see She'll her? She'll be all right. No, nobody saw her. No. Has she responded to you? No. Julie, just lie still. It's the ambulance. We'll look after you. Okay, let's get an airway in. Can I have that blue bag, please? Thank you. We don't know how long she's been here. She's been like this all the time. Please let her be all right. Do we have to collapse? No, she's not. Look after her. Did anyone see her fall? No. She's my wife. What's your name, sir? Philip Martin. And your wife? Julie. Julie Martin. Can I have an address, please? Uh, uh, 26 Ramsey Street, Erinsborough. Any idea how this happened? I thought she was going to drive home. You're going to be right? Yeah, yeah, I'll, um, I'll get a little bit of or something. Are you sure? Yeah, look, I can drive your car, Phil. Uh, um, thanks. Julie, please. Yes, yes. Good luck, pal. Watch your head. Yeah. Sergeant Illich, I'd like to ask you and your friends some questions. Shall we go inside? I'd like you all to put me in the picture. We'll get your formal statements later. Now, before these events of this morning, when was the last time you saw Mrs. Martin? Last night. Last night? Yeah, they had a fight in this room. Go on. Uh, it was Domestic, that's all. With her husband, it's just one of those blow-ups that happen. In here? In front of everyone? Things have been a bit tense lately. This fight, just how bad was it? 
Just a couple of words and that was it, or worse? Well, I suppose worse. A, a debt. How much worse? Well, they haven't been very happy recently. Any violence? Hitting? Throwing things? Anything like that in the last couple of weeks? No. Um, well, Mum threw some glasses. But not at Dad or anyone. Just on the floor. And she poured boiling water on his worm farm and killed all his worms. Did he retaliate? No. Threats? No. This fight last night. That was the last time you saw either of them? Yep. No. Go on. About an hour or so later, I was talking to Sam, and we happened to see Philip. He was near the stairs to the tower. Just for a couple of seconds. He seemed to be in a hurry. It was definitely Philip Martin. You got a good look? Yes. It was definitely Philip. I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. We need to assess her and we'll let you know as soon as possible. Where will she be? As soon as we stabilise her here, we'll send her off to intensive care. Okay? Oh, darling. I made some calls, so Michael knows and he's waiting for more news. Cody and Rick gave me a ride home. Um, Marlene, Lou and Cheryl all said if there's anything they can do... Yes, well, just... that's, that's very kind of them. Now, uh, well, how about you? Oh, I'm fine. As well as can be expected under the circumstances. The police questioned us. The police? They wanted to know what happened. Did you hear any more from the hospital? No. Haven't you heard? No, no, not yet. Oh, can we go now? We've been waiting for you, Deb. Oh, um, Gran, one thing I do need is rest and time by myself. Could you two go on ahead? Would you mind? Oh, darling... I don't think I should leave you on your own. You've been under a terrible strain. Yeah, but I'll be right, I promise. I'll get a cab and follow you. Oh, well, provided you rest. Oh, well. And keep warm. Bye, Deb. Uh, uh, darling, would you mind waiting out here for a few minutes on your own? Oh, please. I won't be a moment. Okay. Yeah, I won't wake her. Well, before you do, darling, your... Your mummy is very sick. You probably gathered that. She's... We might lose her.
you know, it's home. Can I come in? Yeah. yeah. Have you heard any news? No, not yet. I'm going to the hospital in a while. How are you doing? As you'd expect, I guess. And how's that? You think things are bad in my family, and then they get worse. And then they get worse again, and it just keeps happening. No, I'm sure after this is over and done with and everything... A code. I don't really want to talk about it. Yeah. I understand. But if you need anything, you come to me, OK? Yeah, I know. Thanks. Yeah. You eating well? Yeah. Yeah? You might not feel like it, but you have to keep your energy up. Oh, look, I'll make you something. It'll make me feel better. Oh, no. <laughs> look, I don't want to be hassled, you know? I just want to be left alone. Oh, OK. Well, if you ever want to talk, come. Yeah, thanks. We'll check on you later. OK. OK, bye. us to be strong for him. I'll try. You still don't know what's going to happen, darling. Of course, we're hoping and praying for the best. I, uh, I, I thought you'd want me to be straight with you. Yeah. Can I go see anything? together. I can tell you most assuredly I'm neither. Excuse me, Mr. Martin? Yes. I'm Detective Sergeant Illich. I have a few questions to ask you. Oh, I can't just wait. It's just routine. Won't take long. I'll get back to Hannah. Helen Daniels, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, not at the moment. Oh, excuse me. I've been trying to work out this situation between you and your wife. What situation? Ah, oh, there's been some arguments, I hear. Uh, yeah, we hit a rough patch. Oh, I'd say it'd be a bit more than a rough patch, wouldn't you? <laughs> Any mention of a divorce? A marriage is under stress. Is that what you wanted to hear? I want to hear the truth, Mr Martin. So there has been some tension between you? Yes, you could say that. Harsh words. Aggravation. Yes, I suppose so. Can I ask what this is leading to? Well, it's just routine, as I said. Uh, you do have insurance, Mr Martin. Most people do. I have a family, so I have insurance. And Mrs. Martin too, I guess. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. Just trying to do my job. Look, I have a lot to deal with at the moment. Can I answer your questions tomorrow? Very well, Mr. Martin. I'll expect to hear from you tomorrow then. My cat. Too, don't forget. 
really trying to prove some stupid point. Does anybody know how it happened? I'll never forgive myself if she doesn't pull through. I can't remember the last time I told her that I loved her. Listening to the sea. Where was she when you saw her? I was up pretty late. Because it reminded me of primary school camps, being by the sea and all that. And then I saw Mum. She was on top of the tower and I, th I thought, what's she doing up there? So I went up after her. She had a glass. She was drinking something. Wine, I think. I don't know why I came She was up crying. Here. It's the worst thing I could have done. She was letting it roll out, you know? No, you haven't. Trying to explain how she felt. I do love him. I don't want to make him unhappy. I know, I don't. I know. She told me it was all her fault. Everything she did was wrong. Mum, Mum, it's okay. I tried to calm it down. But she just got worse. She was blaming herself for everything. Person, Debbie. No, no, you're not, <laughs> Mum. Philip deserves someone much, much better no, than Mum. Stop saying that. I'm impossible to live with, Mum. Please stop saying I'll that. I make you all so unhappy that I'm no, yes. no, you don't. She was, she was standing too close to the railing, and it wasn't very high. You'd all be much better off without me. No, much no. better off. Oh, you know you would. She no. just, she, she just, just let go of, of the glass. You would. I could see it. It's about to tip over the edge. It was like a slow motion. She, she didn't even make a sound. She just fell. Oh, Grand. I didn't even tell her that I loved her. Oh, my poor darling. <laughs> <laughs> 